Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before we get into today's video, thank you so much to mco 40 and all y'all coming from his channel, subscribing to the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. We are shooting hard for 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new, welcome to the channel. We got a bit of a blunt personality. We like to have fun on this channel. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink and a snack as my computer screen goes out because it's always time in the fuck out. And let's take a look at the market. Now that we're kind of on the downtrend from nationals and we're going on in to power of the elements. So prepare your holes and get hard with your ultra balls and ultra bananas. All the new subscribers are gonna be so creeped the fuck out. And let's dive on into it, shall we? Smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can get to 900, not saying 800 no more, and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel and welcome to today's market watch so i want to take a look at actually a set that i don't see a lot of people talking about and that's battles of legend relentless revenge so 29 dollars for a galaxy eyes photon lord and 10 dollars for a cyber emergency because that's a thing apparently and you got one listing for one fucking pack 15 dollars fucking flying elephant can, can we talk about this baby back weirdness for a minute here this thing is fucking ten dollars so the first time this card would be destroyed by an opponent's card effect during each of your opponent's turns it is not destroyed during the end phase of this effect was applied this turn and not negated apply this effect to it during your next turn when this card inflicts about damage to your opponent by a direct attack you win the duel this card is uh booty booty butt cheeks like it's the definition of booty booty butt cheeks it's uh 775 it this this shit's eight dollars like really i mean yeah it's never been reprinted but and it's a win con but it's a shitty win con um also silent boots are 250s um judgments are always going to be money eights Dark Lord Ixshells 4s. Uh, shout out to my buddy Jake who plays fucking Dark Lords because that's his deck, I guess. Time Lords also we're going to be talking about later. Fucking Michion is $5. This cuts your life points in half. Fun fact. Or the opponent's life points. Um, Pre-preps are threes. Union Hangers are threes. Torrents are threes. Sandion, see, like I said, they're, those are $3. Dark Panthers, I'm surprised those are as cheap as they are. Empty Machines have never had another printing, and these things are, are 2 bucks. Uh, it's part of a trilogy of cards, um, but they were twos, and now they're kind of going up to the 3 to $4 mark. Uh, yeah, you're looking at 3 bucks here. Infinite Machines aren't as expensive. They're still riding the couple dollar range. But if for whatever ungodly reason Time Lords become competitive, this stuff is going to explode to the moon. I mean, this is kind of more of a penny stock here for the, or excuse me, penny stonk, uh, the Infinite Light, which Infinite Light is a good card, but it just amazes me that after all this time, none of the Time Lord cards, specifically like the Traps and like Michion and Sandion, have never had any kind of reprint. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Michion does, all, all the Time Lords share similar effects, but... Uh, the TLDR of this one is that you take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. At the end of the battle phase of this card battled, have your opponent's life points. Once returned during a standby phase, shuffle this card into the deck. So basically, the game plan in like a pure Time Lord deck is to drop out two of these. Like you normal summon one, use Celestial Transformation to summon the other, swing with both, and then make a goose off max for game. Um, it's cute. It's, it's just kind of more of an insanity card, the fact that it cuts your life points in half. Uh, Raffion, yeah, dollar. Time Maiden is a few bucks because that's like a lone fire for the deck. Sandion's 4,000, but it can't do any damage. It just inflicts 2k to the opponent. Um, so yeah, it's it's something to keep an eye on. If you want to invest in like a little penny stonk, I would say definitely go with Relentless Revenge because this fucking Time Lord stuff needs a reprint so bad. Um, and just so that you kind of have a better idea here, the uh, Time Lord Progenitor 17 from the Art B promo. You're looking at a couple bucks on the Meta Ion Photon Shockwave listings. Uh, threes on Sandion, sixes on the uh, Michion, five to six. Uh, and it kind of drops off from there. Uh, but it's just something, like I said, to keep in mind if you kind of want to pick up some things that just haven't been reprinted in a long time. Legendary Duelists, uh, too many fucking seasons. <laughs> so we got Magician Souls here. Uh, we got the Blues at 25s. The, the fuck is this? Just regular Ultra? Yeah, regular Ultra at 29s. Uh, Reds are 25s. Uh, the Dark Magicians at 9s. You got the Soul Servants at 10s. Liquid Ass at 10. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Hero Players. Liquid Soldier at 9. Uh, Dusted Gold's 4. Malicious Bane, 3. 
Fearsome Fire Blast. That's actually some really nice artwork. Looking at like three bucks on that. I feel like these prices are going to hold for a while. That's actually some nice ass art. That's dope as fuck. Uh, <laughs> I want a playset of that just for the art. I feel like these prices are going to hold for a while just because I don't feel like a lot of people really invest in sets like this. It's kind of more just like a, a reprint set. You know, you just buy the singles of what you want and you go from there. But a lot of these are really nice as secret rares. Uh, you get your predator practices while you can. Just, just to have them. Kaiser Glider, Golden Burst, like, this artwork as Secret Rares, like, this is nice stuff, like, just to pick up to have. Quick Draw Synchron, the Ultra Rare for Edison, yeah, people gonna be swiping that up eventually. Stingy and Dirge, so what the fuck is going on with this? So, we're looking at, like, 12 plus dollars across the board. Uh, Duelist League, Overdrive, Duelist League, Duelist League, and hey, look, George, Duelist League. Um, so in case you don't know what this does, uh, reduce the levels of all monsters your opponent controls by one. So it's a floodgate against, uh, Sprite, almost said Sprite there. Um, basically they just start summoning out monsters and you go eat my ass, Stygian and Dirge. Um, I, I feel like if you're playing a bunch of floodgates, kind of like how I played that 60 card Eldritch floodgate the deck, you would just rather play things like Gozen and Rivalry and, uh, TC Boo, things like that. But this is an option. If you, if you don't care about your levels, it's, it's pretty good. And it also doubles up against Sword Soul too. Um, because if they drop out, you know, like Long One and the Token and they want to make Baroness, but you flip up Stygian Dirge, they're kind of screwed. They have to go with another option. So, are there better options? I guess. It's definitely something that probably people won't expect and they just get dunked on for it. So keep that in mind as you're kind of looking at the market here. Mystic Douchebag, as we say on the channel, because our dad also plays Mystic Mind Burn because he's the OG Jeff Leonard. So these tanked out of existence after Nationals, which we see this all the time. After big events, prices will usually tank. Uh, yeah, you're looking at 4 to $5 for Mystic Mind. Yeah, you're looking at 4s. Demise lands. We'll come back to you. Fours, fours, fours. You're looking at fours for fucking super rares. Secret rares, six twenty nine. dollars uh, Six thirty five. You're looking at like six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars Slowly going on up to that, that $10 mark. I mean, it's it's a thing, George, I guess. Uh, where the hell are the golds? Golds, what are these, like five? Yeah, they're like three, four bucks. Hey, if you want a place that of cheap Mystic Mines and you don't really care about them being banned, now's the time after big events to pick up stuff. Demise of the Land, OTS Pack 14s, you're looking at 3 to $4. This card's just kind of generically good. Like, yeah, it can miss timing. But you're looking at 3 to $4. That's that's not terrible. Still needs another reprint, even if Mystic Mine gets banned. Uh, let's see, we talked about that. And then... I want to talk about uh, Dimension Force here. Just kind of take a quick peek. Exorcist or Magnificas or Eights. If you want Exorcist or stuff, pick your shit up now. I'm going to only say it once. So if you want your, your Exorcist or stuff, you need to get your stuff like five minutes ago. Because once the cards come out, if it starts topping, people are going to be swiping up that shit like it's fucking Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're going to miss out on getting the stuffing in the cornbread and you're just going to be left out with your ass hanging in the wind. Like, real talk. Um, yeah, I mean, really, everything else in this set has held well. I'm actually kind of surprised how much this stuff has dropped. Holy balls. I mean, you really drop off after that first page. Everything else is just the super rares and stuff. Like, even the Dinomorphia stuff. Like, look at this. Uh, three bucks, two bucks. You want Dino Morpheus stuff? Like, what you waiting on, pimp? Like, go, go get your stuff. Although you really should wait till after a ban list, but I mean, the option's there. Even, look at this, fucking Regulus is $38. Oh my God. This thing was like, what? Wasn't this 70 on release? 99.2%. Uh, 39, 39, fucking 39 to $40. $5 shipping. <laughs> you can eat my ass, sir. Ghost from the past. Ball sacks psh, jumped up from the $50 range. If you remember, we looked at this a couple weeks ago, right before Nats, and they were like 50 bucks. Uh, light play, 91. 93 is 94, 95, going on up to the $100 range. If you wanted your ball sacks, your ghost rare testicles, uh, you you made you made a lot of money if you picked them up beforehand. Um, dark arms, these will forever be 40 to $45. Every time we look at these, they're 40 to 45 Damn, 42 for near mint. If someone don't swipe that up, I'm going to swipe that up. That's really not bad. $42. Like, let's say you're playing t uh, Teledad format 2008. You need what? Two Dark Arm? Three Dark Arm? E even at three. If you only play two, that's not terrible. Even at three, $42 a piece? That's not terrible. Well, 
42 and then you're paying one for 43 that's not terrible like what 120 for a set damn that's not bad that's really not bad dark arm was like 45 huh blue eyes are 160s red eyes is 85 for no reason ultimate dragons like 45s tamias are 25s alu bars are sixes those have maintained really well actually banshees are about a dollar that's that's cute uh yeah everything else is kind of just holding the line at where it was at zombie world's under a dollar if you want zombie worlds uh, now is the time to pick those up like seriously though you, you need to get those sky calvaries are only 50 cents if you want those for uh for sprite because you can make that if you're not locked into level twos and then you can go into downer and then make a zeus i actually need to pick up one of these my dumb ass sold mine huh yeah that's that's not terrible uh, do I dare look at frog stuff? We're looking at $4 on this. Jesus Christ, $3 on a dupe frog. Rodent Totens, fuck me. I never should have sold mine. Thir no way. $32, and then we jump up to $41 for a mod play. Nah. How is this mod? Did you, did your ass sit on this, like, honestly? What it looks like he scratched it with a pen. Look at look at this, and like he sat on the side of it and chewed it up and farted on it. Ugh, that's nasty. Guys, please thank you so much for watching this market watch. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. You excited for Power of the Elements? Are you already picking up your stuff? Or are you just kind of sitting back, taking a chill pen and saying, "Nah, pimp, I am going to hold off and let these prices drop like a rock, like motherfucking Patrick and motherfucking SpongeBob." Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.